Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. So we're looking at predicting fights, and we're looking at the Showtime Show Box card, 11 p.m. in the night, and we're looking at the last fight matchup on that card. Frank Galarza versus Sheldon Moore for the super welterweight match. Galarza's undefeated, 16 fights, 10 knockouts, and two draws. Sheldon Moore, he's had... 13 wins, 9 by knockout, 2 losses, and 1 draw. Seems a decently matched fight, but let's look at their style, shall we? So here's Sheldon Moore. He, this is one of his losses versus Maxime Bossier, or Bossier. So you can see Moore is a big, strong-looking guy. Seems to be more of a pressure fighter. Again, Angulo-like style. Right now he's backing off. But he's opening, seeing the gaps, and he's responding in the gaps. So I, I do believe at some point in this fight he's going to be backing up Maxim Bazer. that jab see he's starting to back him up he's he's more of a pressure fighter high guard this is again more Mexican style high guard kind of angulo like style tough guy seeing the gaps jabbing right now he's backing off okay so we kind of know his style this was a match in which he kind of lost All right Sheldon Moore looking at his stats we see that he's 28 years of age. He looks a lot older. He's from Belgium. He's ranked 139 in the world. And so his style is, I believe, it's kind of like a pressure fighter style. Frank Galarza. This is in his fight with another Frenchman, Sebastian Borchard. 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 And you can see almost from the start, uh, Galarza is the one in the red and silver trunks. Bouchard is the one in the pink and silver trunks. As you can see Galarza, he's not the pressure fighter one. He's the guy backing off, using his jab, staying on the outside, throwing that jab. The other fighter is also pretty good. He's a boxer. You can see he's a boxer, but he's the pressure fighter in the whole thing. Of course, you know that Frank Galarza was the guy that knocked out uh, John Thompson. And this is generally what Frank Galarza does. He feels you out. He's watching you. He's trying to figure out what you're going to do before he actually approaches you and attacks you. So right now, he's just trying to figure out the dude in the first round. Okay? Frank Galarza has an interesting style. All right. So we know who's going to be the pressure fighter in this uh, matchup. It's going to be Sheldon Moore. We know that Frank Galarza, he's going to be the guy that's the boxer. Okay? We know that Galarza's undefeated. He has a decent knockout ratio. And we know that Moore, he's, all, he's lost two fights. And he has also a decent knockout ratio. Anybody of note that we need to look at here in the records? No, not really. Galarza's never been defeated, whereas... Uh, Sheldon Moore has been, okay? Other than that, just to looking at their rankings, uh, look at their rankings, Galazzo is much more highly ranked than Moore is. He's also probably in his style more skilled than Moore. He's going to size him up, see what he can do, find the holes, and then he's going to go at him. Moore is the slower fighter. Galazzo is much more sharper, as well as I think he is younger. No, he's actually older. So, so um, he's a sharper fighter of the two. So it should be interesting. It'll be an interesting match because we know that Moore is going to be pressuring Galaza. As we look at this fight, you see, there is Moore. He's the guy pressuring, like Angulo. I think Moore's going to receive a lot of punches because of that. But he's the pressure fighter. Galaza, he's going to be the boxer, as you can see. Moves around, throws that sharp jab moves out of the way so he's not getting hit and his putt shot most of the time, okay? Right, so, 
Will this fight be interesting? It'll be a sort of strategic battle, like Angulo pressuring more. If he can somehow pressure Galaza sufficiently, he can have the fight in his hand. But he's kind of one-dimensional. Galaza might pot shot him, start to really see the openings, and just really start to go bombs away on him, like he did with John Thompson. So it really depends on... Um, it's going to be more of a tactical match. And Showbox is basically going to feature Frank Galazzo. I can see that already. So when we look at the styles, we already realize what it's going to be. The skill set looks like Galazzo has more dimension. So he's probably the more skilled fighter. When we look at their records, Galazzo is the, has the better record. And he's also the more highly ranked fighter. When you look at the history, uh, Moore is coming off of a loss quite recently, about two fights ago. And um, the level of competition, I think it's more or less the same for both guys. So um, in the end, I see this as a, it, it's not a mismatch, that's for sure. It's going to be a tactical battle. Um, the disadvantage is more to Moore, but Moore seems to be a tough fighter like Angulo. So anything could happen. It depends on how Galaza really handles the situation, who is going to be the guy who's going to be like the matador and um, Moore's going to be like the bull. Moore's a lot slower though. So it's a keenly matched fight. I'm not saying that it's highly exciting, but it's going to be, if you like chess, you're going to like this fight. If you like rock'em sock'em fights, this fight is not going to be that until one of the fighters has broken down the other. So if Moore breaks down Galaza, then you're going to see a knockout. If, if Frank Galaza breaks down Moore, you're gonna see a knockout as well. So these are two boxer guys. They do what they do with their styles. There's gonna be a feel out round, round one, round two. Then Galaz is gonna turn on the juice if he realizes that more is what he sees in front of him. Or it could be a long fight in which more keeps on trying to pressure Galazzo. And eventually either Galazzo breaks or he's tough enough. And But there's gonna be a bang out at some point if the fight goes that long, and, it's, and Moore is going to try and wear down Galazza, okay? So that's basically the wrap on that. Um, of course, we're going to see. That brings us to the end of this card, and I hope you guys were, uh, when you chose your decisions, you chose along those lines. So let's see what you got. And this is what I think will happen um, based on the criteria that we have, the seven criteria. Uh, and on that note, I think we'll look forward to Friday to see what turns up. And if we were correct, until then, I wish you guys a good day.